Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday. It's February the 16th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And not much happening on the eastern half of the country today unless you are um, into flood warnings. Uh, a good bit of those, and with good reason, some wintry weather activity out west. Uh, it's no surprise that we've got flood warnings uh, down here around Alabama. This is the last 30 days at the Birmingham uh, Shuttlesworth International Airport. 10.7 inches of rain, 6 inches above normal over the last 30 days. We're now 10 inches above normal over the last 90 days. That's an amazing 23.9 inches of rain uh, since mid-November. And over the past 365 days now, running some 8.8 inches above normal. You can see a real upward trend there uh, since uh, the beginning of January. And um, zooming in a little closer just to see, it's not all uh, above normal for everyone. The last 30 days, percent of normal. Uh, those showing everything uh, generally over the northern half of the state, pretty impressive, 150 to uh, over 300% uh, of normal, uh, not so much to the south. We have, though, eradicated most of the drought in Alabama, just a little small smidgen of Mobile County left uh, in any kind of abnormally dry condition. Now, this is the current upper air pattern this morning. You see that uh, upper level trough moving through Arkansas. It'll be swinging across Alabama. And the deep south today, high pressure uh, slid off to the east of us yesterday, giving us a return southeasterly flow. We've got a weak surface low there over Oklahoma. And um, those two systems, the upper system and the surface low, will be our next weather makers. This is this morning, disturbance uh, passing through, uh, triggering a few showers. Started off with a few sprinkles. Moving to a little light rain. It'll be mainly over the north, or sorry, the southern half of the state today, and generally this morning, uh, with actually some clearing skies by this afternoon. Tonight should be uh, a fairly decent night, partly cloudy skies overnight, lows in the 40s will be 58 to 62 today, uh, but then will be uh, mostly dry conditions and mild on Monday with high temperatures. Uh, Rising well into the upper 60s, even though we'll see mostly cloudy skies, just a few peaks of sunshine at times. Rain will move back into Alabama Monday evening, uh, progressing from the south to the north. This is about midnight Monday night, according to the GFS, showing that low moving there across Lake Michigan and a trailing cold front back to the south. Here we've got an effective warm front moving northward over the state, and as it does, we'll see uh, more in the way of rain. And as we go through the overnight hours, perhaps even uh, a little bit of uh, thunder uh, as some instability works into the area. Now, by Tuesday afternoon, that cold front is well into east, or the uh, low pressure system is well into eastern Canada. The cold front moving into Alabama. Just enough instability around for a few thunderstorms. We don't think we'll have any problems with severe weather. And if we did, it would be to the south, but I don't think that's going to be a problem out of this system. But uh, as always, uh, as we say with thunderstorms in Alabama, especially the late winter and spring, expect the unexpected. Now that front will slide south of I-20 uh, late Tuesday into Wednesday, but another uh, disturbance moving toward our state will trigger more overrunning rain Wednesday night. Uh, best chance is coming uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And it may just be cold enough over the northern, I don't know, one-sixth of Alabama, generally north of U.S. 278 at least, for that precipitation to fall as snow. Now, will this be a significant snowfall? Probably not. Uh, snowfall amounts generally less than a quarter inch. They shouldn't be significant. But um, it is something that will continue, of course, to keep a close eye on as we go through the day. Uh, the precipitation slides to the southeast, uh, changes over to all rain in all areas. Temperatures top out probably in the 40s. Maybe the, ex uh, maybe the extreme northern part of Alabama doesn't get out of the 30s on Thursday, but we'll keep a close eye on that. But by Thursday evening, the precipitation will be out of the area, and we get a chance to dry out. Friday, high pressure builds into uh, the southern United States, 
it will stay put there for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it looks like our next chance of rain will return late that Sunday night into early that Monday. Now, we'll go back into sort of a stormy pattern. I don't think this is much of a severe weather look, but um, that potential is there. Uh, if the GFS is right here, that surface low moving out of Iowa into Wisconsin, uh, decent cold front moving into Alabama, the fly in the ointment will be that low moving across southern Alabama that could uh, keep the uh, northern and central part of the state uh, out of the severe weather threat. Rainfall amounts over the next two weeks, generally around one and one half to two inches, could be enough to cause uh, some more, uh, uh, more aggravation of the river flooding across the area. But we don't think we'll have any uh, flash flooding issues like we've had the past two weeks. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, February 16th. We'll have uh, notes on the blog here shortly. Uh, James will be back with two days tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll sit here with you next Sunday when I will remind you, as I always do, to keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. <music>